Howdy everyone, this is Tyler with MechGraphics.net. Today we're going to be going over some more basics with MG Maps. Um, we're, going to, we're going to try to kind of recreate this map here too. I, I made a similar tutorial previously, but uh, this is a bit different. You know, we're going to contain some interstates and whatnot using a, a soft mask. We're going to be selecting, you know, a bunch of different cities. We're going to make a state selection for the counties, and we're going to be adding some fills and whatnot to the selected state to uh, get this tutorial going. But to begin, I, uh, a big question I get from newcomers to Photoshop and newcomers to MG Maps is uh, how to move the map. And how to move the map is you either select the GIS and overlays group or the base map group. You select the move tool and you click and drag in the map to move the map and expose more of the map because it's all contained outside of the canvas that's visible so that can be initially confusing to those new to this so we're going to go ahead and drag over to uh, the illinois region here and uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to select the uh, counties of the state so we're going to open up the gis and overlays group we're going to open up the outlines and we're going to click on the state and national borders. Then we're going to select on the uh, magic wand tool and click inside of Illinois. Then we're going to go to select, modify, and expand. And we're going to add about three pixels worth of uh, growth there just because sometimes the selections could be a little wonky. So we got that selected now. We're going to go ahead and click on the counties and we're going to add a uh, mask clicking this button here. And now that the counties are contained. And you can, you know, adjust your counties. I've set to 40% opacity fill, um, and there's a subtle outer glow there. So we're pretty much done there. Now we're going to go ahead and contain the uh, the interstates and major highways to this region here. But we're going to use a soft uh, selection. So we're just going to add a mask now. Nothing will happen because a white a white mask is, you know, visible. So we're going to grab our brush tool. Um, you can click B on your keyboard to get that. Mine's set to 1,000. That's a soft brush. That's good to go. Make sure you have your uh, your foreground color set to black. And just click and drag on the areas you don't want visible. So I'm just selecting around the uh, outside of the map here. Click a little bit more over here. And um, that'll pretty much do it for that. Uh, now we're going to select the interstate icons. And we're going to go ahead and contain those to the area only visible. You know, it makes sense. So um, using the magic wand tool, this is going to be a hard selection. So go ahead and click and drag on the map for the icons that you want visible. That'll do it for this. And click the uh, add layer mask. So that'll go ahead and mask in all of the icons. Uh, let's do the same thing for the cities. In fact, click Control and click on the mask you just made for the interstate icons. So we're just going to modify this one. So to modify it, um, you can use Alt. If you hold Alt and click around or click and drag around, that'll delete parts of the mask. So because Green Bay is partially cut off, we're going to go ahead and deselect that. Rochester, we're going to do the same. We're going to deselect that. Just a little clipping part there. Um, again, I'm using Alt, holding Alt while I'm clicking inside of the selection to deselect these cities. I'm going to do the same thing for Des Moines. There we go. Um, Springfield, we'll go ahead and remove that by holding, again, Alt and clicking and dragging. Evansville, we'll add that. So if you hold Shift and click and hold and drag, that will add to the selection. So that'll add in whatever city you're adding. I'm going to do the same thing for Indianapolis. I'm going to click in uh, or hold shift and click and drag. It looks good. Um, I'm going to remove Fort Wayne. Sorry, Fort Wayne. And again, you you use hold alt and click and drag. Um, that'll pretty much do it there. Uh, let's go ahead and add that mask. And it looks like I missed something over here. So click on the selection by uh, holding control. Click on your selection. I'm going to use Alt, and we're going to remove the selection by right-clicking and click, clicking Delete Layer Mask and re-add it after modifying it, and that looks good to me. So, um, what are we going to get started with here? Let's um, 
let's lighten up the map very slightly. So we're going to go to base map, double click on it, open up the layer style panel. Um, this, we're going to bump this up to 10. I'm going to add one more and we're going to set this to overlay or maybe so we're going to do soft light just like that just to brighten up the map a tad bit and close that um I'm gonna close this no actually we're not we're going to open up the outlines once more and we're going to click on uh, control or hold control on your keyboard and click on the mask that we made for illinois to contain the counties because we're going to use that to contain our fills so click on the map effects group and using the selection we just made of Illinois or whatever state you're working on click on the uh, click on the group you want to add your fills and whatnot to and add a, a mask there so this means that any fill inside of this group will be contained to Illinois so for example I'm gonna click on the brush tool here and we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna make it a little bit less soft so we're gonna open up the uh, brush settings here gonna Go about 50% there for hardness, spacing. Uh, drop that a tad bit. Okay, and uh, this is a kind of like a severe thunderstorm map here. We're gonna do a more of like a snowfall map. So click on colors here for snow. And then we're gonna start with a light blue. And then uh, we'll go ahead and paint over the map. And you can see the, the uh, fills are contained to the state here because we added that uh, mask to the group. I'm going to go for another darker blue. Oopsies, my bad. We're going to go ahead with a darker blue here. And you know, paint over the map. I'm going to go with another darker blue. Paint over the map. I'm going to go ahead and grab a purple-ish color here. Suggesting, you know, higher snowfall amounts. And, you know, you can see... Uh, it's pretty straightforward, you know, whatever fills you're adding, whether or not it's like a thunderstorm map, snowfall map, or rainfall map, you know, you just use your, uh, either the brush tool or the pen tool to, uh, you know, add your fills. Uh, we'll go ahead and try one with the pen tool real quick because the pen tool is more, you know, it's uh, more precise and it can be better for rainfall sometimes. So we're going to make a rainfall map real quick. So what I'm doing real quick, I didn't explain. Uh, using the pen tool, we're just going to click and uh, make your first point. For the second point, you can uh, click and hold, and it'll make a uh, it'll allow you to change up the line, soften up the line around it. And you know, when you're clicking outside of the state that you have selected, it doesn't really matter. So it can be kind of rough. It's just inside the state you want to keep the lines clean. And uh, once you have the line, you know, closer to your start point, you can right click and click fill path and do this real quick. Go to color and do a light green. That's good. Delete that path using right click. Then we're gonna make another selection. I'm gonna do the kind of the same thing, you know, wherever, whatever your forecast is, you know, adding the higher amount fills. Add a darker green there. And you know, so you can, the idea here is like the light light green is you know quarter inch, dark green you know, maybe half, three quarters of an inch, and we'll add like a one inch of rainfall region here. Here we go, add some yellow. And you know, that's you know a, a decent rainfall map there. Um, something else we can go over real quick would be adding another, or adding more terrain to your fills. Some states don't have much terrain overlay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna duplicate one of these topo overlays. So we're using control J on one. We're going to add more of that, and we're going to utilize the Illinois state selection here to do the third one there. It might not be making much of a difference. Do it again. Do it again. doesn't look like it's doing much. So actually, let's switch all of these to uh, multiply, and that there looks like it adds a bit more dimension to the fills because you can see the ridges and whatnot from the uh, terrain. So... um. Yeah, that basically goes over some, uh, you know, state map, you know, work if you were to be, you know, creating a forecast for uh, a certain state.